Good evening, everybody. This is kind of an impromptu video. We were out to dinner just now. We've been drinking. We may have had a couple. Um, we got the news that BWL is coming out on Wednesday, February 12th. Hell yeah. Interesting that they chose a Wednesday, too, because usually, like... Yeah, usually it's, like, right after the patch or, yeah, like, going right into the On, next, like, a Tuesday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Right into the, uh... So, interesting. I guess they, they chose to do that um, simultaneously, with, like, with the launch of EU, because, mm. um, so that EU won't, behind, won't be behind NA um, when BWL releases. I guess that's uh, the reasoning behind it. Oh, that's a really good point. So we all get it at the same time. What do you think about the timing of this? I personally think this is perfect timing. It can't come any sooner, because I've been feeling really bored with my max level character. A little bit, yeah. I feel like there's a there has been a little bit of a content drought, especially if you're not ranking, if you're not like into PvP or anything. Like if you're strictly PvE, I feel like this is this is great timing. This is a little bit earlier than I expected. I thought maybe like mid to late February. I mean, twelfth. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's borderline like mid. February, you could say. Right, right. I thought this was going to come long after uh, patch 8.3 of retail. I thought there was going to be some sort of uh, highs and lows between uh, 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 retail and classic. But this is wow. This yeah. I, I think this this is perfect timing. It's good. Yeah, it's it's almost a month after 8.3, I guess, because 8.3 is coming out next week right. on what the 14th. It's I the 14th. Think? That's right, January 14th. So the fact that BWL is coming out less than a month later is, um, well, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to kind of make a, a video, just like a, a emergency video. <laughs> yeah, a little breaking news video just to uh, sum up what to expect, especially as if, if you are coming into this uh, fresh, like someone like me who has never done the BWL, Wow, I've been drinking. <laughs> Especially for someone like me who is uh, fresh to the BWL content, mm -hmm. um, what to really expect and, and how to prep for it. So with that being said, let's uh, dive right into this. Let's get into it, yeah. Let's see what they said in the patch notes. <laughs> All right, so I have I like a I made a little a uh, quick little edit here on OBS so that we could just do this as uh, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Oh damn! So uh, our buddy Kyvax is back with another update. Um, so we're just we're just gonna go through the patch notes real quick. So at 3 p.m. PST Pacific time, that's 6 p.m. for us, Eastern time. Uh, on Wednesday, February 12th, we will unlock the following WoW Classic content simultaneously on all realms. So everybody's gonna get this at the same time. Cool. So, uh, we're gonna get Blackwing Lair, whoops, okay, there we go, in the dark recesses of the Mountain's Peak, Nefarian. We know about that already, so, um, pretty exciting. Uh, the Attunement Quest, Black Hand's Command, is gonna become available on all realms tomorrow, which is Friday, January 10th. So, also exciting. So starting tomorrow, we'll be able to do the uh, the attunement quest. It's pretty easy. Uh, I actually wrote a Wowhead guide on it. I don't even know if it's been uh, published yet. Oh wow! Okay. But, um, you basically, yeah. Sorry. No, no. Because no, oh. I was just gonna ask. I have not done any of this content before. So especially for the attunement quest and getting prepared mm -hmm. for this content, um, what should I expect in this quest? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's I, I'd say it's one of the more easier attunements. Uh, you basically kill this mob right outside the instance portal of uh, Black Rock Spire. Oh, okay. He's kind of like down the hallway, so like you know where the instance portal is, like you're on that yeah. balcony? Yeah. If you look to the right, mm -hmm. there's like a, a hallway. Mm -hmm. um, there's a mob there. Uh, I forget his exact name. It's like, okay. whatever. Uh, but you kill him and he drops this item called Black Hand's Command. Okay. You right click it, it starts a quest. Cool. Um, basically what the quest tells you to do is go to Black Rock Spire, kill the last boss, General Dragasath, and there's an orb behind him. You have to click on that orb, and then you're attuned to BWL. Ah, okay, cool. So, cool. um, the, the, and then the quick way to get to BWL is you're, you're outside Black Rock Spire again, mm -hmm. that instance portal. You go all the way down that hallway to the right, mm -hmm. and you'll find, like, another orb. It's kind of like a golden orb. Once you're tuned, you touch that orb and you're ported uh, straight to the instance. Awesome. So, that's cool. If you're not attuned, there is another way you could get in inside Black Rock Spire. 
Um, it's like right after the Rend encounter, um, after that that uh, that blue whelp that you pass by, and you, you're kind of in that room before you kill the beast. Well, the room the room before the room of the beast. <laughs> anyway, there's like a hallway down there. Like if you're not attuned, you could technically zone into BWL that way, but it's a bit of a hassle. So you might as well just get attuned. Right, right. right. And you have plenty of time. It looks like you're gonna have plenty of time to do that. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. They're giving us plenty of time to get a tune, so. Mm-hmm. Ubers runs for everybody. Hell yeah. Um, so what else we got? We got the level 50 class quests are finally being implemented as well. I keep clicking that thing on the side. That yeah, not, don't don't trust don't, that thing. Don't click on the thing on the side. Don't trust that thing. Uh, level 50 f- class quests, so all players starting at level 50 can now begin class-specific quest lines offered by class trainers in Capital City. These conclude with a choice of one of three powerful rare items. So these are, I, I, I'm pretty sure these are talking about the Sunken Temple class quests. Um, a lot of people were wondering like when mm. those quests were going to come into the game. So uh, I guess um, that clarifies it. Um, okay. I'm assuming this is also February 12th, all, like all of this content. Yeah, all this content is coming out on February 12th. Right, it seems like it. Okay, cool. So cool, the level 50 class quests, keep an eye out for that. We've got new reputation rewards, so with the uh, the factions Argent Dawn, Thorian Brotherhood, Timber Maw Hold, Silverwing Sentinels, and Warsong Outriders, the faction vendors now offer reputation reward items that were added in patches 1.6 and 1.7 of Original WoW. So a lot of people who had like acquired a specific reputation with these factions they had noticed that when they went to the quartermaster, oh nothing, items were missing. So it was like, hey, good job. Yeah, like, oh my god, right. I got exalted. All right, what do I get? Oh, diddly doo da. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, okay, so that's cool. So, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> do you, Do you know if there is a list of items available anywhere that anyone could access if they are interested in grinding out this reputation? Probably on Wowhead, I, I would say okay. is the best choice. Um, Wowhead usually has really good uh, reputation. Guides. I actually wrote the Timber Maw Hold one. Oh, Funny cool. you should ask. <laughs> um, so, yeah, check it. Check it out. I'm sure those those sites have all of the uh, information that we need. Cool. Uh, the next thing is Eternal Quintessence. So players who complete the Hands of the Enemy and reach Revered with the Hydraxian Waterlords, which is basically the Molten Core reputation, mm-hmm. may now obtain Eternal Quintessence from Duke Hydraxis. So what does that mean? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I can't even say that. I can't even say quinte quinte Quint- Quint- right Quint- now. Quint- yeah. I can't. I can't do it. So... I've had. I've, I've. I've been drinking. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I. I. I happen to actually also write the uh, Hydraxine Waterlord oh. reputation guide on Wowhead, but um, basically when you're going through Molten Core, you know how you have to douse. Right, Certain the, the runes, right, runes. around the, uh, the instance, yeah. So, uh, currently in the game, you get this quintessence, that's the item that you use to douse the runes. Okay. You can only get one, every, every like, raider can only have one use for mm-hmm. it. Um, once it's consumed, they have to go all the way back to Ashara, to Duke Hydraxis, to renew it. Mm-hmm. However, with the eternal quintessence, it... Uh, I guess there's like a short cooldown on it, and then they could reuse it. Cool. So they don't have to go back to Duke Hydraxis to get another one. The Eternal Quintessence just has... I, I forget the cooldown, I'll double check, but... It, you basically don't have to go to Ashara. So cool. it saves you time and travel. Hell yeah, quality of life. Absolutely, I love it. Absolutely. I can dig it. <laughs> but you still you still do need a certain number of people in the raid to be able to douse the runes. Right. So right, that right. doesn't change. But convenience. And lastly, this was actually a surprise to me, the Dark Moon Fair is coming out in February and even earlier than the rest of this content. Right. So, um, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna look into the Dark Moon Fair for Classic, because I forget, like, exactly how much content of the Dark Moon Fair is in Classic. Right, right, right. Before they kept, like, adding more to it. Like, we were, li- we were just looking at the 8.3 patch notes, and right. they're adding in, like, an arcade. <laughs> that seems really cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems cool. They just added in a roller coaster recently, yeah. too. <laughs> but, um, so this is coming early February. This is coming on February 5th, interestingly enough. That's that's not too far away. It's in a few weeks. Is that? No way. I thought that's oh. February 7th. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, let, mm. me, let, me, let me read the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I should actually read it first. <laughs> 
The first Dark Moon Fair in WoW Classic will get underway in early February with Barkers and the fair setup appearing on Friday, February 7th. Right. Also, the setup will start to appear ah, on the 7th. Ah, okay. And the festivities will open on Monday, February 10th. Okay. So, oh, that's cool. I, I actually remember that. You start to see the workers building it yeah. before it actually goes up. So you're like, oh, the Dark Moon Fair is coming in a few days. Um, look for the many Dark Moon cards that make up the beasts, elementals, portals, and warlords. Sets to begin dropping from enemies and bosses. Oh, okay. Oh, so the cards, cool. the cards are going to start dropping on February 5th. We're going to see preparation for it on February 7th, and then it'll open on February 10th. So now, okay. So where where could we get the uh, the cards from? So who specifically um, drops oh. the cards? I think it's a lot of different places. I'll have to double check. I All mean. Right. Um, I, I I had written the uh, Elemental Invasion Guide on Wowhead, and right. those bosses that, that spawn have a chance to drop, um, uh, like, an elemental card, I think. Cool. But I uh, have to look it up. I think it's, like, all over the place. Okay, so with these cards, I guess you could form decks, and, yeah. and what could a, a player, again, like me, um, who hasn't really had the previous experience, the original classic experience, mm -hmm. um, so once, or... Right, once you form a full deck, what could you achieve with that? So, again, my memory's a little fuzzy. Oh. Uh, I haven't looked into this uh, since cla since vanilla, but right. I do believe you can make um, uh, trinkets out of them, oh. right? Yeah. So how you reach the Dark Moon Fair, Elwyn Forest, right outside Goldshire for Alliance. Horde is going to be in Mulgore, right outside Thunderbluff. Um, really cool. Those are the two locations in which you can access the fair once it's constructed. Okay, what, what can you do at the fair? There's vendors, there's sage fortunes, non-combat pets, beer. Right. Hell yeah. Mini Big games. Fan. <laughs> Big Tickets fan. and rewards. Okay, card decks and trinkets. So you could collect various cards from high-level enemies around Azeroth, Azeroth to craft card decks that could be exchanged for epic trinkets. So cool. there we go. I guess that answers your question. Hell yeah. With the, uh, <clears throat> with the trinkets, excuse me. So uh, yeah, looks like there's an epic neck reward, a couple of epic necks that you could get. Blue Dragon, Maelstorm, Maelstrom, Twisting Nether, Heroism. Cool. So yeah, a bunch of stuff, you know, guys, do your research, you know, if you're interested in uh, more information on the Dark Moon Fair, do you do your uh, your Google searches, check out uh, more information, but um, that's that's a pretty content-packed update, I know. if I do say so and myself. Kind of subtly dropped on us, too, which was... I wasn't expecting it, yeah. yeah. We, we actually just finished <laughs> recording an episode of our podcast... And like, ten minutes later, after we finished, we we see the update that BWL is coming out. Yeah. And we're like, really? Like we we did, we could have mentioned this in the podcast, <laughs> but we didn't. Uh, so this is why we made this uh, quick video. Yeah, this little impromptu video. But yeah, just to update everybody. I, I'm I'm definitely excited. Uh, again, I was uh, primarily a solo player. In uh, original vanilla, I did not have a lot of uh, dungeon or raid experience uh, prior to classic. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, just my whole classic experience is just driven on uh, playing it the right way, as opposed to just uh, being socially awkward the entire time. Um, so I'm I'm really looking forward to this content. Yeah, it's 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 new content for many. Uh, a lot of people like yourself have never gotten a chance to experience Blackwing Lair, so. I'm really excited for it. Uh, everybody get your Onyxia scale cloaks ready. Um, and, oh yeah, uh, okay. So, oh, okay. So yeah, just a uh, quick uh, debrief me on the, the instance in general. So uh, how, many bo how many bosses should I be expecting? Do I need any items now uh, <laughs> to prep for the raid? What will happen if I don't have said items? Uh, well, the bosses, well, let's count them. We've got... Uh, Razor Gore, the first boss. Valstraz, the second boss. Uh, Broodlord, Lash Lairs, the third boss. Then you got the three uh, dragons after that. It's, um, I don't know if they have a specific order because they kind of patrol around, mm, but it's, okay. uh, it's uh, Flame Gore, Ebonrock, 
and uh, Firemaw. Uh, and then we got Cro-Magus, the, uh, the pet, which, uh, not the pet, but the beast, which I'm sure you've seen, uh, like, there, there are pets of Cro-Magus. Right, right, right. He's like the, kind of looks like a core hound, but he's blue, bluish oh, purple. Yeah. And then uh, Nefarian, the final boss. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I lost count. How many was that? Is that six? Uh, I went to art one, two, three, school. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I think it's eight bosses. Eight. <laughs> Yay, eight. All right, cool. Um, so that's and... pretty packed, especially for a, a classic... Uh... Yeah. Classic content, yeah. Um, on Ixia scale cloaks, there, uh, especially with the three dragons and Nefarian, you need mm-hmm. to have an Ox- on Ixia scale cloak. Because um, okay. those will uh, prevent the raid from basically wiping uh, from certain abilities from those bosses, which uh, I'm sure are explained uh, in more detail in uh, <laughs> raid guides. But uh, that that's a big thing that I remember. Um, the Veilstraz fight, which is boss number two, I remember being particularly challenging for some mm. guilds because it's really like a dps check oh, um okay. gear dps check so uh some guilds might have a problem with veil Shraz, we'll see um again it's it's kind of hard to say because for a lot of guilds molten core is kind of a cakewalk they kind of just plowed right through it um mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that bwl is a little bit more challenging um i hope it's like a little bit of a step up in difficulty and that it's yeah. not just like a face roll like a MC is for most guilds, so. Uh, would would you be able to go into just a little bit of how I could get that cloak so I don't accidentally oh. wipe my whole <laughs> guild, my whole raid group? I I do believe that uh, most guilds provide it for you. Okay. Because um, for the Onyxia scale cloak, uh, I do believe it requires like a um, when you skin Onyxia, right? The the Onyxia scale, whatever, whatever mm-hmm. she you're able to skin from her. So you need a portion of that to craft the cloak. So right. um, usually guilds have been collecting and farming Onyxia for the past three months. So mm-hmm. hopefully they'll provide it to their <laughs> to their guildmates, uh, to their raid members. Um, otherwise, it might be a little bit expensive to try to find a cloak. So. Mm. Eric, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing that information with me. I'm definitely gonna... Thank you for asking the prep. questions. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for uh, for checking out this, this quick video. Um, if you have any uh, questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, and you can subscribe to the channel as well to show some support. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we just recorded our podcast, Warcraft Brew, earlier today, <laughs> which I guess we're going to release uh, like a maybe, little bit later, yeah. Maybe a little later than now. this video, yeah. Uh, a couple days from now. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can follow on Twitter, Twitch, uh, Patreon. <laughs> we, we got all the links in the description of this video. So <laughs> Subscribe to our Snapchat. <laughs> Pre- premium Snapchat, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Have a great night, or day, or afternoon. Bye. Bye!